everyone and welcome to Happy Trails Hiking. This is a special edition of our park travel reviews. We've been asked to come to Wichita to learn more about their hiking trails and outdoor activities. I'm going to get to kayak for the first time and I haven't been on a bicycle in years. We're ready to visit Wichita. For our road trip to Wichita, we stayed at True by Hilton. They have comfy rooms and wonderful amenities. We would like to thank them for their hospitality this weekend. Good morning, everyone. We have a busy day planned today, and we're going to kick it off with a breakfast at Homegrown. great way to start our morning at Homegrown here in Wichita. That was a fairly phenomenal breakfast. Biscuits and gravy were great. The juices were yummy. The caramel coffee cake, Matt. The caramel coffee cake was <laughs> was definitely worth a drive for. Well, since we just finished breakfast, we're gonna <laughs> get a hike in to work off some of those calories. And we're here at Swanson Park. We don't know too much about it. It looks like a nice little old city park, uh, but we do know that the trail runs along Cowskin Creek. So we're gonna see what we can see. Pretty cool old bridge. Park number two for our visit in Wichita is Air Capital Memorial Park and it's mostly known for a bicycle trail but these trails are also uh, hiker friendly so we're gonna take off on foot see what we can find so i can see where this would be really fun on a dirt bike really fun oh you could even do this on a 10 speed yeah i did do things like this <laughs> Number three for hiking Wichita is Pawnee Prairie Park. Well, we just finished up hikes at three different parks and now it is time for lunch at Wichita Brewing Company. just got done with our beer stop here at the Wichita Brewing Company. We got four beers in the flight. They were all good. There was nothing outlandish. Some, sometimes you go to a brewery and you get stuff that's just crazy off the wall. None of that uh, in that flight. There were, however, some very interesting things on the menu that were probably outside the realm of uh, the normal palate. The pizza was also fantastic, as were the poppers. So, definitely recommend it. Today, we're in Wichita, Kansas, at the Great Plains Nature Center. We're a free facility. I always say we're the cheapest day in Wichita, by far. Uh, each year, we have roughly 190 to 200,000 people that we have either through programs, walk in through the door, or use the trail. So we're about the third or fourth largest attraction in Wichita, behind the zoo and botanica. At the Great Plains Nature Center, we were fortunate enough to get to meet with their director, Mark and a naturalist, Amanda. Special thank you to them for showing us around. And that was a quote that we picked at the time uh, that is pretty poignant as far as the message that we try to get across to people, whether we're here on site doing something else. Uh, we try and talk about conservation. Uh, we try and talk about the wise uses of natural resources, which include things like hunting, fishing, uh, things like that. Uh, and get people to appreciate the wild places and wild things that we have. There will be much more from the Great Plains Nature Center coming in another video. Let's eat. 
Behind us is the Keeper of the Plains statue. It is a must-see when you're in Wichita. We're gonna walk over for a closer look. The Keeper of the Plains statue is 44 feet tall. It stands at the confluence of the Big Arkansas River and the Little Arkansas River. This American Indian sculpture was created by Wichitaan and Native American artist Black Bear Boson. The neat part about Keeper of the Plains Plaza and Keeper of the Plains statue is that every night at 9 o'clock, if the wind's not too high, they light the fires. So that's what we're waiting on. Our first stop on morning two here in Wichita is at Beautiful Day Cafe. Locally sourced organic foods. They have vegan vegetarian options with locally sourced meats as well. Breakfast is really good. So first let's talk about the hash brown. See it's um it's different texture. So if you go to, you know, like a waffle house or something like that, you can tell that it's been a like a product that was frozen or whatnot. This is a very different texture. I think it's actually made in-house. I don't know that for a fact, but it's very different and it's really incredible. Awesome. And I got French toast and I decimated one of them already, but they're really really very good so adventure on day two bicycling I've been biking years okay I think We're, it'll be all right okay uh, Wichita has a bike share program and so you gotta check that out while you're here let's go see what we can find on the Arkansas Trail Arkansas Trail depending on where you're from there you go In the afternoon of day two, we had some time to explore before heading out to kayak. So when you're in a kayak, like this one, you get to see the keeper from the water. Pretty cool. So this has been a pretty epic idea. Kayaking. It's fun. the Aeroplanes Brewing Company. We just stumbled across this wandering around downtown, so we're going to check it out. Our last dinner here in Wichita is at a new establishment called Chicken and Pickle. This new dining establishment features pickleball, delicious food, and lawn games. For our final event on Saturday night, we are at Midwest Wine Fest. It says IPA. Yes, he found a beer at Wine Fest. We interrupt Wine Fest to bring you beer. We've had a good time in Wichita so far. We've done some kayaking and biking and hiking, a uh, lot of food and drink. But we've got one more stop for you, and that's Dempsey's Biscuit Company. Stay with us. Hey Matt, it's a cinnamon roll. Can you even believe it? Wow. Okay. What do you think? It's almost too beautiful to eat, really but not quite. We're gonna give it a shot anyway, huh? Here we go. It's kind of a big bite. Right? Sorry, what are you doing? We're your... What is that? This yeah. is the cinnamon roll. Oh, is it? Okay. See, these people over here even want to see the cinnamon roll. <laughs> Why don't you tell us about the drive, since it was a great road trip for us, I think. Yeah? Yeah, it's about 
six to eight hour drive from St. Louis area to Wichita, depending on uh, traffic and your route and the weight of your right foot. Um, but it's not really a very difficult drive. It's mostly interstate. Do we got to explore the outdoors a little bit, which is fun. And um, so we went to three city parks plus the Great Plains Nature Center. Um, and all of the parks we went to had something unique uh, to, to share. The most wildlife we saw was at the Great Plains Nature Center. Um, but that is like they're trying to, they're conserving habitat for wildlife. So that makes the most sense. So um, we hope that we've shown you just a small sampling of what you can do in Wichita in a weekend. Any final thoughts, Matt? You know, just generally speaking, I think a lot of people think of the Midwest as being flyover mm. country, and you may have heard us talk about this before, but it's really its own wonderful, unique environment, you know, just as if you're in the Rocky Mountains out west or in the Appalachians out east, this has its own special beauty, and the, the Great Plains are amazing. And, the, the history here of Native American cultures that have been here for a long time, that's something that was also very prominent in Wichita. True. Um, so the, the keeper of the plane statue, well, it was great to just be in that space, you know. You could, you could feel the heritage there. And the people are so proud of their area and, and what Wichita means to to the history of America. I mean, it, it, it has a very um, huge history um, for westward expansion and and of the you know cattle industry and, and farming and ranching here in the, in America. So don't discount Wichita. No, check it out. You definitely should. Uh, we give it a thumbs up, and um, we hope that you'll check it out too. And until next time. This is Kane Matt from Happy Trails Hiking. Thanks so much for watching.